It's time to return to Seattle. Remember, all had been going well. Until... Well, let's put it this way. We thought we did alright in the Telestrian Industries run. We got trapped there overnight and had to do a little bit of a uh, stealthy incursion to get a sample of the Aegis. Unfortunately, we were arrested by McCluskey and brought to his masters, the Telestrians themselves. Our crew is on their way. But for now, let's talk to Mr. Quoth. Oh, how dapper. The fussy elf with an air of a Victorian butler studies you from your toes to the tips of your pointed ears before he speaks. Mr. Telestrian is expecting you. You will find him in his office. This is an extraordinary estate. May I look around before I see him? You may wait here a few moments to gather yourself before you enter Mr. Telestrian's office. Some people find that they need time to prepare themselves before meeting an elf of his stature. However, the upstairs is off-limits to you, and the library is occupied at the moment. Do not tarry, though Mr. Telestrian is not one to be kept waiting long. All right. Snazzy digs. Suit of armor. Nice leather casting couch. Algernon's hanging out here? That's interesting. Maybe he can help out. We've seen him in the basement of the Seamstresses Union. There's a twinkle in Algernon's eye that wasn't there when you spoke of the Seamstresses Union. It is good to see you again. There is much to do. You run in some pretty different circles, don't you, Algernon? I do not run at all, Aquarian. I am where I am needed, and I am needed here. Seek me out after you've spoken to James Telestrian. Perhaps I can be of service again. You are positively mysterious, sir. But I feel a little reassured, knowing that Algernon's here. Not that I imagine he would, you know, interrupt or anything else like that, but he doesn't seem a bad sort. He's helped us before, and if he thinks that he needs to be here, then maybe we need to be here. That works for me. After all, I'm really hoping that this guy isn't quite so upset with us as he wants us to go ahead and resolve a problem. After all, Lynn Telestrian... Probably quite the embarrassment and problem for Telestrian Industries. And since she's a part of that creepy, culty, Universal Brotherhood thing, maybe we can take care of that. James Telestrian III. As you approach, James Telestrian III looks up from the computer screen built into the surface of his desk, and he assesses you. Calculating and cold. A practiced smile comes to his face. He vibes the kind of rich that you don't get from Trivid. It's not the clothing or the trappings or the bow before your better's mansion. It's something else. The feeling that you're being categorized as a resource or a liability or as a pawn. I have been reviewing the results of your visit to my Seattle office last night. I admit they are impressive. You have generated a considerable amount of damage to my office complex, killed or wounded many of my security personnel, and cost my vice president of security his job. In the 24 hours, you have accumulated quite a bill with me, sir. How do you intend on settling your debt? Well... Once my current assignment's complete, I would be happy to discuss working off my debt to you, Mr. Telestrian. That discussion may happen one day, assuming the outcome of this conversation does not result in your immediate termination. When one is in my debt, they remain in my debt until such time that I decide the debt is repaid. 
There will be no negotiation on that point. However, well, we sound screwed. You have one piece of information which you might use as a bargaining chip in the little time you have left to live. Why you took what you took. I'm interested to know why you and your team of criminals fought your way through my security teams up to my private office to access the Matrix and uncover the location of a simple research project. <sighs> well, so we can say the most protective items are usually the most valuable. We could bring in Sam Watts. We know that he's had people killed for knowing that. So I think I'd rather hold on to that little bit of information. Now let's say that we took the Aegis sample to kill a giant insect spirit. I find your bluntness somehow refreshing. Mr. Quoth, please ask my daughter to join us. <laughs> the young, pretty elf has dark circles under her eyes and a haunted expression on her face, but she recognizes us interest in instantly. It's you! The man who helped me escape from the Universal Brotherhood. How did you get here? Thank you, Maria Louise. You have confirmed the identity of your rescuer and given me reason to forgive him for his trespasses against me. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to see that you got out okay, Marie Louise. I'm not okay. I can't sleep at all. I'm afraid that this is a dream and I'll wake up and they'll still be there with... The bugs. You can relax, Marie-Louise. You're safe. It is over. No, it won't be over till they're dead. You didn't see them. You don't understand. You and those men you flew in here, all you do is talk. It's like, it's just like you to form a committee, Father. I knew that someone had to take action. That's why I got Harkim involved. I see. It was you and your crippled little friend who leaked Aegis to this man. We will speak of it later, in private. Now then, Quirion, there are people I wish you to meet, the committee my daughter alluded to. This is a rare opportunity for a man of the street such as yourself. I urge you to behave. We will adjourn to the library. I would be delighted. I don't know if that's sarcasm or not. Just behave. All right. We'll be good. Objective added. Take part in the tier council meeting. There is a weight in Telestrian's library, a sense of magnitude and of purpose. You are no longer in the presence of mere wealth, but in the presence of power. This dude looks a little bit like a clown. But we recognize Algernon. Lady and gentlemen, this is Quirion. He is the elf who saved my daughter, and the only one who has faced our common enemy in combat. Herr Brackhaus, what does the representative of the great dragon Lofuir have to say about the magical insect this... Shadow Runner uncovered. Brackhouse speaks slowly with a deep, melodious German accent. He takes his time, accentuating each word, relishing each vowel and each consonant, tasting them as if it were a delicacy. My Lord Lofia has witnessed the insect spirit's physical manifestation before, roughly. Nine thousand years ago. As you are aware, magic ebbs and flows from the earth, cycling from peak to peak over the course of fifty two thousand fifty two hundred years. As the level of magic grows, Hans, dear, I love you, but you could babble on forever, and I believe time is of the essence. Quirion, is it delighted? The bug that you fought was not merely a magically awakened animal, like a wyvern or a hydra or anything else in the sixth world. In fact, it isn't from this world at all. It's from the physical embodiment of an insect spirit from another plane of existence. Uh, 
Is that why I couldn't kill it? Exactly so. Your little buggy friend exists on both planes simultaneously. Now, an insect spirit can't simply thumb a ride through astral space and show up on Earth late for dinner. Dinner, in this case, being Earth Force. Two elements are required to bring one across the void. A shaman and a host. First, the spirit calls upon a shaman, often in dreams. The spirit seduces the shaman with promises of great power. The shaman then accepts the spirit as his totem. Next, the insect spirit requires a suitable host. The best candidates are those disaffected and disenfranchised. In short, the weak-willed. Their minds are the most susceptible to su suggestion, which is helpful in making the transformation. As you may imagine, these are the sort of people easily attracted to a cult, such as the Universal Brotherhood. Finally, by performing what has to be a truly disgusting ritual, the shaman serving the insect totem implants the spirit into the host, willingly or not. Then, it is feeding time. Ha, Leia Queen is correct. The insect spirit will then slowly consume its host, by transferring it into the spirit's own insectoid body, thus manifesting itself fully on this plane. Okay. I don't like the sound of this. You shouldn't. It's bad. Really, really bad. The initial bugs prepare a nest for the summoning of a queen, and once a nest has its queen, she literally explodes with the newly manifested insect spirits. They swarm out of the nest, feasting on all the flesh that they can find, and implanting more insect spirits into the fresh corpses, again and again and again. The room falls silent as they all consider the scenario, faces grim. Telestrian breaks the silence. This is not an infestation, Quirion. It is an invasion. My lord Lofir knew that this day would come, but he did not know precisely when nor where. Your rescue of Mr. Telestrian's daughter has exposed the existence of an insect spirit for the first time in this cycle of the world. So... We're an early party this time. That gives us the upper hand, right? We are not early. We merely have experience on our side. The insect spirit is only a resident in the transformed host's body. Conventional weapons can hurt the body and expose the spirit, but the spirit itself cannot be destroyed by mundane means. Hence, Project Aegis. Her Telestrian's Biotechnology and Agricultural Divisions worked with my, with my Lord Lofweir's Taumatological and Engineers and designed Project Aegis to destroy an insect spirit once it's released from its host. The formula, a fluorescing ancestral, ancestral bacteria strain, exists in the physical on the astral space at once and thus can affect the spirit. Now that was a mouthful. Did you memorize it, or are you reading off index cards? My director of R&D, Diane Ravenwood, will explain how Project Aegis will be used in the field. Dr. Ravenwood. She's a doctor? Damn, she looks like a badass. Our weapon specialists have rapidly prototyped a delivery device for the fluorescing astral bacteria strain. They've created some prototype launchers, which fire Aegis-filled shells. When fired, the shells will discharge a high-velocity stream of the bacteria. In order to destroy one of the bugs, it must first be damaged using conventional weapons or magic until the spirit is released from the host body. Then the insect spirit must be shot with the Project Aegis prototype launcher to destroy it. So... 
In order to stop an invasion of insects from another dimension, a dragon and an elf co-created a magical insecticide. Crudely put, but accurate, we must stop the Universal Brotherhood from summoning a queen, and we must stop them immediately. You're the only one who's been inside their facility, and the only one who has personally fought these creatures before. That, along with your highly effective assault upon my property, indicates that you are the ideal person to lead the attack. Okay, so what makes you think it'll actually work? Because it has to. Come on, kid. When fate taps you on the shoulder, you gotta pay attention. Unfortunately, she has this nasty habit of tapping you on the opposite shoulder, so that when you turn around, she's on the other side, giggling like a deranged schoolgirl. I hate that. Enough! Are you willing to undergo this mission, Quirion? <laughs> well, I'm a professional, and professionals get paid for their work. I assume that serving all mankind involves compensation. Of course. Here's my proposal. If you prevent the queen from being summoned and destroy the insects in the nest, one million Nuyen will be divided by the surviving team members. Okay, one million? We'll do it. Let's not get greedy. Everything needs to happen anyway. Excellent. I love the way that the short-lived are willing to die even faster. It's very inspirational. There is one final note. A warning, if you will. You have seen the danger the insects represent, but you have not witnessed the shaman's power. The shaman must tap into a powerful source of magic in order to summon a queen. We do not know what abilities... That power source will grant. Beware of the insects, but do not underestimate the shaman. Hey, don't scare the kid, Hansel. We still need him to go on the mission. And by the by, I'm coming with you, Quirion. I wouldn't mind seeing these creatures for myself. I missed them last time. Telestrian will bankroll you so that you can hire the rest of your team. Find me when you're ready to go, and we'll bug right out of here. Does he look like Sam Witwer? A little, maybe. He's definitely the kind of character that Sam Witwer would play. I don't remember exactly what's going on with Harley Quinn, but he pronounced it Harlea Quinn, which is straight up like she. So he may be like... Like, like, changeling fairy royalty kind of a thing. I don't really remember that part about Shadowrun, but it certainly would fit. Yes, speak with Harley Quinn when you're ready to depart. If you wish to acquire additional supplies for your mission, find my assistant Quoth. He is highly resourceful. Eight Karma. We're going to need to purchase supplies. Look at all the people that we can talk to, though. All the accents that I'll have to do. Holy shit. Our team's certainly here. Who invited Violet? Ugh. God damn it. All right, Algernon, you've got a line on the magical side of this. Let's talk. May I provide spells, spirit for sigh, or fetishes to help you on this critical quest? Well, now I've got a question. Speak it. Who are you? I am a peddler of magical spells, spirits, and foci. Nothing more. Truly? No. Do you require my magic? Were you spying on me? You mistake your importance, Quirion. No, I was not spying on you. 
Until Mr. Telestrian summons, you are beneath my notice. I saw only a customer. Are you really here? Are any of us? Yes, Quirion, I am here, and at the seamstress's union, and a myriad of other places. On to the work at hand. Do you require my magic? Uh, never mind. Gotta go. Oh, she better not get any of the million. <laughs> if she does, 9,000 of it's mine. We did not allow many opportunities during our briefing for you to ask questions, Shadowrunner. You may ask them now. So how did this insect spirits get here? When the membrane between planes thins, and insect spirits reach into the mind of a shaman and begin their manipulation, laying on the weaknesses and offering unlimited power if the rituals needed to bring the spirits are performed. But once a shaman takes on an insect spirit as a totem, they begin an inevitable decline into insanity, slowly focusing and losing their humanity. Eventually, the shaman completely succumbs, choosing the contentment and sense of clear purpose that being a part of the hive provides. Perform your role, serve your queen, that is all. Um, and where do they come from? As the level of magic in the Sixth World grows, the, uh, for lack of a better word, the distance between the various planes of reality decreases. When the membrane between the planes is thin enough, ritual magic may be used to draw beings from one to the other. So... What's it like to serve a great dragon like Lofuir? Do not misconstrue my relationship with Lord Lofuir. I do not serve. Okay, time to go. Think it pissed him off. I mean... We're not that bad of a decker. Let's be honest here. We got decking five. You only need decking seven to reach the top tier stuff, so... It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay, well, we've talked to these guys, and I have no idea what's with this guy. Se no, there's a security camera back there, but I got no idea what's up with this guy. I'm assuming that these are just his... Uh, personal guard, his personal military. Uh, let's talk to this old woman. She is having a hard time of it. She rocks back and forth, her milky eyes clouded by cataracts and shame. White hair tumbles down her bony back, and her fragile skin is so pale, the blue veins beneath it run like subway map lines on a map. You glance down at her ID bracelet. Valerie Telestrian. That name's been coming up a lot. Spike Baby. Spike Baby. Hello, Valerie. Are you ready for your medication now? The doctor has just a few questions for you, and then you can have the pretty pills. That's a dick move. <laughs> I have no idea why the cursor displays nowhere near where I'm pointing at on the screen. Is that is that the case? I haven't really been paying attention here. I'll put it over this Valerie one, the top one. Yeah. I think I know why. If I had to guess, it has something to do with the fact that the resolution of my display is not the resolution of the game. And so uh, OBS is totally picking up the uh, wrong cursor location. Yeah, I just saw it scroll off the screen, too. I just brought up my stream to take a look at it. 
I think it's because we're running in 1440p, but we're doing 1080 for the in-game resolution. Let's try the top one. It's the least dicky one. Valerie, Valerie, listen to me. I need to ask you some questions, and I need you to answer me. Don't look at me! Please, no! Unclean! Cursed! Filthy devil spawn! Uh, I can be good, doctor. Just tell me what you want to know. I heard you say spike baby. What's a spike baby? spike -eared baby hates me! He left me to die here 20 years ago! But I won't give him the satisfaction, no! I clawed a life to spite him! spike -eared baby is... elf? Did she have a half-elven child or an elven child that locked her up? And because I fear going before God to be judged for my sin, for bringing the freak into the world... Oh, Christ... Her baby is Silas, isn't it? Oh, her baby is totally Silas. Silas is also a Telestrian. That would be weird and fucked up and probably accurate. All right. Interestingly enough, River actually has a different icon over her. But maybe it's just because this is the general area to see our team. Want a drink? I had the butler grab a bottle of my favorite wine, the 95 Napa Sparkling White. Thinking about it, it's really fucked up for an elf of all people to have this in his wine cellar, given what they did in Cal Free, especially by burning what they did in Napa. All things considered, the Californians would probably want me to drink it. We who are about to die salute you. What are your thoughts on Telestrian? I didn't like it, leaving you in the belly of the beast there, especially with all the if coming off Samdi's plans. But I'm glad you made it, though. But if you keep taking chances like that, you'll end up in a body bag sooner rather than later. Be careful. Alright, well... Coyote, what's going on? We stepped in the damn shit, didn't we? Yeah. Are you and Cherry friendly? Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. I don't think anybody's actually got any plot stuff to reveal to us. How's Paco? Kirin, this chingadera has real wood in here. I could make a fortune off all this stuff he wouldn't even miss from this room. So what about the airport? What's your thoughts on that? My thoughts? On which part? The part where a corporation poisoned all my friends to test a bioweapon? The part where all my friends got killed? The part where I had to go down to put down the people that I used to look up to? Or the part where we rescued Gino from certain death by Vitus Ravage gangers or psychotic corporate hatchetmen? I mean, Coyote's already having a bad week. I would hate to have to lose her cousin twice. <clears throat> Doc says I'm okay, well, you know, still dying, but not any quicker than I was before. Whatever weapon they used, it isn't catching like a real disease, which is good. If it was, I would have infected everyone I know with the Vitus, and someone would have bombed Touristville into cinders. You gonna be okay? Uh, you'll no say. I don't know. Almost everyone I know is sick, and I'm sick as fucking death already. Now I've got some sort of engineered strain of Vitus. I heard that my buddy Rick was actually undercover Lone Star. Range is dead, Ziggy and Doink are gone, everyone's dead. I mean, not everyone. We managed to get Gino out, so Coyote doesn't lose him again. And doesn't lose her connection to her family. Alright. See? No problemo. Let's go talk to Marie Louise. She seems stressed. I was listening. It sounds bad. Yep. Thank you. For everything. Could be worse. Could be raining. It's Seattle. You look like you have a question. Well, what did Lynn Telestrian and the Brotherhood want with you? 
Aunt Lynn was very excited to have me there, almost manic. She talked about it in the inner circle and how I was going to be at its center. She said I would be their queen. The way she spoke was as if she had seen God or something. But it's not God she sees, it's bugs. Only bugs. So was it Harkim who helped you in the Matrix? She smiles, in love. Yes, even after my father ruined his life and convinced me to hate him, he's still been watching over me. My angel in cyberspace, Baron Samdi. After we escaped, I told Harkim about the Brotherhood and about the bugs. It was his idea to steal Project Aegis so that you could go back into the Universal Brotherhood and exterminate the bugs. But I don't know how he knew about them. Baron Samdi just knows things. I guess we can guess why she was locked up. But what did Harkim tell you about us breaking into your father's office? Nothing. I haven't spoken to him since last night. Why? What happened? Wait, he hasn't contacted you? No, and I thought he would by now. Did something happen to him? Well, last I heard from him, he'd been made. They were coming for him. But was that true? I honestly don't remember that. I last thing I really remember is him saying that the way was clear and we could run right to the elevators. I'm sure he's okay. He was in the Matrix the whole time. That's what I thought. Harkim is amazing in the Matrix. I'm sure I'll hear from him soon. I hope so. But I kind of don't expect it. All right. Let's see what Mr. Quoth can get us in terms of gear. All right. I need some cyber installed. Can you help me out? All right. Show me what you got. So, anything that we want to replace or upgrade here? I don't think so. There is a brain upgrade. Not that we can afford the essence cost currently. No, doesn't look like there's really any upgrades here that I just need. If we'd had like a hydraulic jack, we might have replaced these with the hydraulic jacks or something like that, but... I'm really thinking that for the next game that we're going to wind up doing something like um, Decker slash Rigger slash Face and give up completely on any kind of personal combat ability and entirely use machinery to take care of it. All right, so no need for cyberware. All right, show me the outfits. What do you got? Ah, it's all the same stuff. But hell, if we're going to go into this, part of me just wants to go ahead and just get something that looks a little better. Right? Like, if we're going in for war, I want this EOD suit. And then we'll sell the old gear. We'll just get some of the money back, but... All right, as far as guns here, I really don't think there's actually any new weapons. We may be armed up as much as we're going to get armed. Yeah, I mean, we've got the smart link. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here for us unless we just want to buy more consumables. Oh, hello, high explosive grenades. They strip one armor do 20 damage. And then we've got Renraku flashbang grenades. Oh, yeah, there we go. Actually, we're going to go ahead and buy those 
HE phosphorus grenades. Hmm. 14 damage with an additional minus 6 for 2 rounds plus stripping 3 armor. Yeah, we're going to take those. And I mean, I'm going to just... I don't care about knocking... Well, actually, still want the possibility to knock people out. So, okay, that's relatively good. I'm going to give up the Jazz for... I mean, Platinum would probably be better, but we'll take the, the Trauma Kit here. Everything else looks okay. Cool. And then Medical Supplies. We've got some Trauma Kits. But we're going to go ahead and buy Premium Med Kits and use them to replace our non-premium med kits. And we need one more. Yeah, we want a Renraku flashbang grenade. Confirm. There we go. Now we're armed for bear. The only thing that we could do better would be a platinum kit. Which is a 100% revive. Hell, it's just money, right? Give me that platinum. Cool. We're armed. I'm not worried about getting rid of any of the other stuff. We don't really need the money. Nine grand. Sweet. I feel a little bit better about bug hunting. Don't we look like we're better armed for bug hunting? Hell, it's even got grenade printed on the side. And a boom on the back. But. Got a gas mask and everything. We are ready to go get our... Terminex or Orkin or whatever you want to call it on. Okay, we don't need any more cyber. We could, if we really wanted to, spend another point on body and another point on cyberware affinity to get us an extra point of essence and then install one of the brain boosts to increase, like, decking and intelligence but frankly if we were going to do that we would just spend the points on decking and intelligence i think let's take a look here i don't even know what the new etiquette would be if we were going to go do a new etiquette Mark target three. It's not terrible. We don't have enough points to get up to the uh, Fairlight Excalibur or top tier decks, so we're not going to worry about it. Not worried about strength. Well, if we get more points, we might put them into rifle, but let's go ahead and boost our quickness and boost our range combat. We are a fucking top-tier cyber freak at this point in time. We are like a goddamn monster. All right. I guess we can talk to Telestrian if we really wanted to. I don't know what he has to say. We'll find out. <sighs> Is this something I can clarify for you? Tell me more about Project Aegis. Telestrian Industries Corporation has been working on Project Aegis for two years without fully understanding its use. Lufweir did not trust me with the information. My engineers finally met the Dragon specification three months ago and had just begun the production process when my cousin Lin hired Shadowrunners to destroy the lab and the factory, leaving us only the sample that you stole. Okay, and why was she taken by the Brotherhood? 
The host for the queen is chosen very carefully, as the interactions between the queen and the lead shaman are critical. A family connection between the two roles is ideal. As you have discovered, my father's indiscretion with Melinda Watts, you know that Jessica Watts, the shaman, and Marie Louise are related by blood. I would appreciate it if that information remained in the shadows. All right, well, I'm sure he's going to give me something, a weapon to use with Aegis. So we are, I think it's time to go. We've talked to everybody that we really need to talk to. Harley Quinn, let's do this thing. Are you ready to get knee-deep in ectoplasm? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go stomp some bugs. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Aegis 1... Aegis Mark I Launcher, filled with a magical insecticide. Manage. We're going to have to give up our grenade launcher. Good thing that we're bringing extra grenades. I suppose you should know. Telestrian's technicians only had time to create a few prototype Aegis launchers. I'll be taking one naturally. Another's for you. We can probably cobble a few others together. You won't get any replacements, though, so treat them well. If you want additional bug-splattering firepower, James has agreed to allow one of his personal elite guard to accompany us with the final prototype weapon. And now, let us away. We have a date with Destiny, and she doesn't like to be kept waiting. Ugh, so we have to take Harlequin with us. Who else should we take? No. <laughs> what does Harley do? He's got a sword. He's got a launcher. Armor zero. An actual leather armored trench coat. <laughs> he's got kamikaze. He's got quick strike. So he's a physical adept. Okay. Additional speed, mana ball, mana bolt. He can heal. All right. Um, Coyote, I would love to take you. But we're going to take Paco. And we're going to take River. Because River is totally designed to heal at this point in time. And La Planchada is... I'm afraid of that drone if I don't take it on a mission. Because... I kind of think that it lubricates itself with metahuman blood. So... Yeah. It's mostly fear that's bringing Paco along. Head to the hive underneath the Universal Brotherhood? I mean, can't we just head to Fiji? Your return to the Universal Brotherhood is anything but subtle. The team hits the same backdoor Coyote found, and you storm through, quickly making your way into the restricted area and the room where you last met Jessica and first encountered the bug. You stand there together, listening to the sounds of chittering coming from somewhere distant. Harley Quinn stares into the darkness, humming tunelessly while fingering the sword at his hip. He then turns, lifts his Aegis launcher to his hips and gives lips and gives it a kiss. You give the signal, and the hunt begins. Man, if he listed, lifted it to his hips and gave it a kiss, that would be a totally different situation. So, time to be very, very... We just did this! <laughs> Alright, whatever. <laughs> the game's being silly here. Alright, so... We'll just do this again. We want Paco, and we want River. It actually may be a good idea to give them additional gear. Uh, let's look at River here. Oh, I guess we can't really do that. That would have been on the previous step. That was an arming kind of a thing, I guess. All right. Well, Paco's loaded anyway. What drug do we get this time? Jazz. Okay, Jazz is a good one. Oh, no, never mind. We can. All right, so what are we going to give them? Harley Quinn. Hmm... 
I kind of fear giving him anything, but let's give him the Shaman Serum. And Paco's full. Somehow it dumped more stuff. Sure, why not? Uh, why is your water bolt three not there? I don't really want two water bolt threes. I'm assuming that that's just a terrible glitch. I can put in the other uh, Mark IV, though. That's nice. And... Uh, how about... A healing kit. There we go. We'll really make... We'll really gear you up as a, as a healer here. Uh, and you know what? Take the grenade launcher. <laughs> You won't be able to fire it very fast, but it's something. All right. The side door that you found last time you were here was helpful. You avoided all those Universal Brotherhood spa cult yahoos. Telestrian was right. You're a real value add. Now, the fun begins. All right, wait, I got some questions. Of course you do. If you won't tell me who you are, can you tell me what you can do? See this sword? Yeah. I can stick people with it. Pretty good, too. I also have one of those Telestrofweer magical bug eradicating launchers like the rest of you. That it? Is that not enough? Behind the tattoos that adorn my face, I have another recent addition. In a place that only those closest to me will ever see. It's a dragon. Don't tell Hans. Oh, and I'm a powerful mage as well. <laughs> I forgot that. Cool. Alright, what do we have here? Examine the Telestrian Care Package. Another Aegis Mark I launcher. Crap. Alright. So... Harlequin's already got one. I guess we have to give it to River. She's the only one that's not locked down. But I guess that's alright. Insecticide gas canister releases a cloud of insecticide gas, obscures vision. Uh, I guess we'll give it to Harley. You have no free item slots in the stash. Damn. Uh, I mean, we got three of these launchers. I just don't... Yeah. I guess we'll have to, yeah. Oh, well. Oh, now we can actually access our stash. Okay. They foresaw that as a problem. Hmm. All right. Really, we've got three of these. I don't think we need it. I think we're all right. All right, let's get out of here. Man. All of a sudden, I'm thinking it would have been really nice to have had Coyote. Her her shotgun so was actually really strong. What do we get here for? We can overclock still. All right. What is this new one here? Mark target. Can Paco do anything else? 
He's got a new door buster that strips two points of armor. That's actually not bad. We'll hang on to that just in case we need it for something. So, extra strength there. More blood for the blood god, I guess. And what can he do? Overwatch, huh? Oh. Maybe not as impressive as I had hoped for. All right, grenade boy. Look at all that armor. It looks like we could just go there, but... Because we're coming in the same door. But, I mean, let's take him out, right? Go ahead and activate our wired reflexes here. River, what you doing? Rip that motherfucker. Time to go. Anything in here? Locked, locked, locked. No. Okay, we're good. It was just them tickling us a little bit as we decided to come out. Descend into the hole. Why are we... we're piloting Harley? That's interesting. Or is he just that much faster than us? That's also possible. Oh, here we go. Title music. Now we know we're really doing it. Wow, Harley is fast. Brotherhood Gunner. Pretty good strike. Control mode. Overclock. Go get him. You ever feel like sometimes your robot just lets you down? Interesting. Maybe we'll go ahead and catch up before we go chasing after them. Got a feeling they'll be coming back. Got 
Come on, come open that door. Wow, really? They really booked it. hiding out behind there. There's also some sort of control panel here that we can look at. Let me see if we come through this vent. Oh, it's blocked. No, it's not blocked off. Oh! I see. They're hiding here with their buggy friend. waiting in an ambush. Well, I think we can help with that. Where's my haste ability? When you upgraded, you changed... Oh, no, no, it's still haste. It's still haste. Fountain of Youth is still haste. Okay. I knew it changed, so we got some additional stuff. I just didn't really remember. All right. There we are. Yeah, I ate that Overwatch a little bit, but that's okay. No armor on this guy. Die, Mr. Mage. Not a terrible hit. I do kind of want Paco to stay out of the worst of it, though. That's a grenade launcher, isn't it? No, it's a shotgun. Okay. Numbing poison somehow worked on the bot. I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> Luckily, we can just overclock him. And it's down. Next turn, it should come up as a uh, bug thing, so we'll try that bug thing. Nice. What do you got, River? Do it. No! He's still alive. Rip. Go ahead and repair yourself. Nice. 
why don't you go ahead and try your cool new bug bomb? You missed! You missed! Stop missing! There we go. So it's just really, it's just a shotgun that can damage the spirit form. I gotcha. Reflexes here. For some reason, this is now standing up. It's got to be a glitch due to the way that the, the uh, mod's working, I would guess. Cool, the other one faded out. Just finish him. Thank you. We kind of know that there's an ambush waiting for us behind this door, but it's a pity that we can't just drop into combat mode by like clicking on this button, because it might be nice to send the drone in there, but oh well. Ooh. This place looks grim. Ah, actually, we can. So keep that in mind. I guess we can drop into combat in early, but only in a zone that seems to have combat as a thing. Uh, do we have a way to flush him out? I don't think we have that attack on here. Sucks for him that he didn't have any kind of, uh, I don't know, grenades or something. Oh, that was a misclick. I guess it worked out. <laughs> oh, shit snacks. We've got some bugs coming our way. Also, I may be channeling Pam <laughs> from Archer <laughs> inadvertently. Had not expected to say shit snacks. It just kind of popped out there. All right. And then we'll give it a slight boost to movement as well. Yeah. That's what she says. There we go. Damaged one armor. Marked it as a target. There we go. 
we'll give it minus one AP as well. Yeah, bad bugs, bad bugs. These look like the worst kinds of chairs for giving blood. Look at this, they just strap your arm down and they put a thing over in front of your eyes. Probably to brainwash you and inject you. Maybe it's not blood giving, maybe they pump you full of horrible sedatives. Why are you looking at me like that? Why would I know? So let's give somebody some an aim boost. Who should we give an aim boost to? How about to query? And he's quite a ways off. Actually, standing here on the ley line, we can actually give it to pretty much a lot of people. So here you go. Harley, you have it too. Wow, that one's even bigger. All right, we'll come over here. And if any bugs try and get by us, we're going to chop the shit out of them. <laughs> the bug dodged that shit. He said crazy clown with a sword. Fuck that. That one didn't get the memo. Uh, let's use somebody who does not have the cool... Uh, bug stomping shotguns there we go all right quick everybody if you've got bug stomping shotguns run over here real quick and get ready to use them and then i don't know man what do you want to do paco that's probably smart <laughs> That's probably smart. I wonder if we had readied an attack. We'll have to try it. We'll have to see if we can overwatch with those, uh, with these weapons and see if that works. Wow, you're terrible at this, clown. Try it again. And you dare call yourself the clown prince of crime. Alright, so let's see. What do we got going on here? Some sort of computer terminal. It's displaying a map of the UCAS. Chicago's listed as a priority. Well, that's not good. Chicago doesn't need any more of this shit. There's like a doorway we can go through. Anything useful over here? No. It sure looks like they're starting to hive the fuck out of this place, doesn't it? I don't like it. Ew. That looks like some remains. A pile of broken bodies. The bones look twisted and their jaws hang open seemingly in terror. Nightmarish. Oh, there we go. We can see a Brotherhood rigor, but we're not quite in range. But we could initiate combat early if we wanted to. Let's just try and run everybody in as far as they can get. Nope, like literally one step. this guy's little friend shouldn't he get some dump shock from that I think you're supposed to get dump shock if you uh, have your drone blown up but maybe that's only if it gets blown up on a critical I don't know
kind of looking forward to the next game whenever we uh, ourselves will have badass weapons droids like this that we can send out to absolutely just murder motherfuckers. What? Oh no, okay, there we go. True form venom. I heard a terrible splorching sound. There's another one. All right, well, bad time to be that rigor. I think Harlequin's just going to go do it. Well, they don't really... Yeah, maybe he hadn't put it in, in any other mode yet, because usually that's not a thing. I don't know. Well. Here come the bugs. I hate that these creepy guys... These, here, you can still see their kind of human head faces on them. Unlike the other ones where they're kind of inverted. This one seems to have done everything except for just the shoulders and the head. But I can see some sort of wagging tongue there as well. It's just grody when you think about it. Alright, Paco, can you get up into any sort of cover position? Yeah, like right there. But we have to move Quirion forwards. How about... Activating wire reflexes. Nice. Almost down. How is your cleave work? You had a cleave one, right? Pommel strike, no, cleave. More than one target. Doesn't look like anywhere I can make him stand can do both of those, so. We'll just do this. she do? She can give extra AP. So go ahead and do the Fountain of Youth on Harlequin. Because I want to try something. Got him on the launcher. And then put him on Overwatch. I want to see if he can hit that thing whenever it pops up from Overwatch. That's a lot of bullets. Yep, Overwatch works just fine for that. Nice. Uh, I just heard another splorchy noise. The fuck does that mean? I keep thinking that means something hatched, but I don't really like that. <laughs> so I keep hoping it will be something else, anything else. number on him, but it still wasn't enough. Nicely done. Clearly, we are the heroes that the world deserves. Now where the hell are we supposed to go? Let me guess, they dug holes. If they did, I don't see where to go. Hmm. 
Interesting. What about this direction? Not so much. There was a door here, but it seems to have been covered with all sorts of terribleness. I guess we can go back and see if we missed anything. Yeah, this doorway. This doorway has come down now. It wasn't open before. Okay. Looks like we can descend still lower into the depths. Into the depths. The cold utilitarian facilities of the Brotherhood's private areas break away and degenerate into sprawling subterranean tunnels. Tunnels that were not crafted by the hands of man. The air is foul with the smell of decaying flesh and something else, a rank, stinging acid bile that hits noses and eyes hard. Wet, squirming noises echo throughout the tunnels, punctuated by low moans and the occasional gasp. For what? You can't tell. One thing that you can tell, though, Aegis works. You shoulder your launcher and keep going. More karma, okay. We continue on into the belly of the beast. You enjoying this? <laughs> this? Slumming with shadow runners and killing insect spirits with insecticide spewing guns? What's not to enjoy? Onward! <laughs> I mean, we're having fun. Hmm. Hmm. Don't like that. Minus two body to the drone. Okay. Interesting. Hold on, I got you, baby. Reduced by one. And just dump some bullets into it. What can I say? It's a hell of a, uh, it's a hell of a drone. Down. Switching targets. Might as well catch it with the reaction shot here. Crazy fucking clown, man. He just ran right into it. Alright. That's fine. Mm. Didn't quite work, huh? Oh, you can't miss like that. There you go, much better. And down. Wait, you're just gonna hide back there? Seriously? That's... that's the plan? Nobody tell Paco that there's... Oh, shit. <laughs> I 
Well, bugs don't like fire. Fire's bad for everyone. Paco, yeah, you want to go ahead and move slightly out of the way here. Maybe even further than that. So let's answer another question I'm not entirely sure of. Go ahead and reload that, but... Fountain of Youth. Increases the armor and AP by one and regenerates five hit points around for three rounds. Can this be cast on the drone? No. Okay, good. I was like, that would be kind of a serious mess. actually end up in the fire, so... Paco the Taco is just gonna duck back behind here where it's safe. I'm kinda getting used to the idea of this is how our movement's gonna have to be when we play a rigger. You got to take the, uh, the, come on, the safe spot. This is rough. There we go. Caught it. Just where we needed to be. <laughs> so it died. It still died. It went in and it took fire and it managed to get an attack off and then it died terribly. Okay. we can't rename the characters right or we would totally be doing that oh one miss it would have worked too but for one miss exactly What can you do? Surfing on in. What's going on, Corilla? You see these kind of areas where they burrowed up from. Literal Doom style monster closets, really. Mm -hmm. Sure seems like a place where it would be nice to actually. Oh, there we go. Put La Planchada in control mode. Give it a nice little overclock. Treat my ass back behind some cover. Alright, go use the vent. See what's ahead, buddy. Wonder if we can name our drones like a lassie or anything. There's no way to move forward. That's fucked. I don't like this.
Wow, bug went down. Oh shit. I don't know why it wouldn't let me go through that before. That's irritating. It should have let me do it. It's like it didn't want me to scout into the next pod. Hey, days off are awesome. A little sad, though, that their overwatch got interrupted by the grenade. So what can we do with our one heal? we can heal. Who got it worse? Six, uh, eleven. That'll work. Yeah, I like how it basically heals just the last damage, right? You can use a med kit for more than that. Or certain other magical spells that are not called heal uh, can give you like a healing fountain or can add regeneration or something like that. But you really only ever heal the last wound. And I think that's kind of cool. It enforces a different kind of strategy. Paco, don't just sit there. You can do it. Yeah! Ouch. That hurts. It's getting real up in here. Alright, you know what, Paco? We'll let you do it. Get in there and hit him with a doorbuster. Oh, yeah! Look at that damage, plus bleeding. Plus regular damage. All right. Well, the melee nerds seem to have that guy taken care of. Really? You had to run through the fire? Whoa! 32 damage on a crit! I haven't seen that since... We had Coyote with her shotgun. We could summon a spirit if we really wanted to. Don't really want to, though. Yeah, and I like that, too, right there. The wounds... The last wound that you had heals whenever you end combat. Because you have a chance to bandage your wounds and keep them from getting worse. That's really what it means to heal the last wound, is how well can you treat the injury you just received? By the time that you're stacked on something else, it's really kind of a no-go. Oh, this looks terrible. Everything about what's coming up next looks awful. Weird little clusters of, I'm gonna assume, eggs. Like, the facility is just almost gone at this point in time. This is just... A terrifying cavern of nope. For all of you who do not like bugs, sorry about this game. <laughs> okay, uh... Let's try and flank to one side or the other. Let's go over here. It looks like we're going back into the facility. Never mind. Might have been better to shoot over there. Well, whatever. We actually hit really well from a distance. 
Assault rifles, being what they are, doesn't really look like it, but we're so quick. If you look at our stats, actually, we should go ahead and spin that karma. Let's go ahead and boost our uh, rifle all the way up to nine. I mean, we're nines across the board. We are so damn fast. Nice. Okay, I'm assuming that thing is going to come after us once it comes up, so let's just advance. We will worry about doing bug exterminators and stuff like that as it comes towards us. I'm not even going to bring the bot out yet. I don't see a good reason for it, unless we want to go ex... Well, we could force it over here to go explore. I don't know what's going on over there. We don't really need it against the existing bug, but... Let's turn it on. And let's put it in some sort of overwatch mode to make sure that we don't get... ambushed. That looks pretty good. That's a pretty sizable arc. Bad bug. Bad bug, what you gonna do? A troll physical adept. If I recall Dragonfall correctly, we'll get a chance to uh, have a troll physical adept on our side. Briefly. We're gonna do kind of a rigor decker thing. Alright. Do, 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 do. That thing really wasn't paying attention to us, was it? I don't know that that's a good time for a grenade, although it feels like maybe it should be. I really thought we'd get a better angled shot on it. So let's just shoot it whenever it comes out towards us, as it will inevitably do. That should make life interesting. Paco de Taco is going to back up just a little bit. Put the bot in control mode. Right here is good. And then, you know, just play into it with some bullets. Yeah, this time we decided that we were basically going to go uh, straight rifle street Sam, and we wound up having to go into decking at the last minute because our decker burned me, and so I burned her from my roster and will never take her on anything again. You know, that happens when you run the shadows and you want to be duplicitous. But... Next time, we're going to try a Rigor Decker hybrid with extra points going into Charisma, just so we can have better conversation options. But we're going to completely forgo, I think, any kind of defense of our own in response to relying on the bot and relying on our decking skills and then everybody else. And let's be honest, we're going to wind up with Mercy, so nothing... Nothing terrible wrong there. So, alright, everybody. Awesome shotties at the ready. Ah! 
I have no idea. Oh, because he just stood up and he didn't move? Is that why Overwatch didn't trigger? Like, I can't actually shoot him for some reason. What is going on? There's a targeting problem with him standing in the same square as his corpse. I guess. So... That's troublesome. I guess we just have to prepare the Overwatch thing again and hope that it fucking moves. Did it go back into its regular body? It did. Yeah, set the fuck down. Let's try this again. If not, we're actually literally just gonna have to like walk around and hope that it chases us. So it got up and it shot Paco again. There we go. Now we got some shots going for the Overwatch. That was irritating. I mean. Maybe Kurilla? Deckers are literally godlike in the next two missions, in the next two games. Like, the whole game changes drastically for having a good Decker on your team. And I would have normally agreed with you on Rigor, which is why I've never really played one to date, but Paco has been murdering it with his, and I took a look. If you get your rigging skill high enough, you absolutely can. What the fuck is this thing? Ew. It is juicy. What is this? A true form bombardier. Okay. Uh, you can you can control two bots if you get your rigging high enough. Which is pretty crazy. Fuck off, Windows. I'll update when I feel like it. You literally never get to tell me when you want to update. There is no time where I find it appropriate for you to tell me that you think you want to do an update. Probably could have used one of their extra points to try and heal, but I don't think we're gonna get hit again. I don't think it's ongoing damage. I guess we'll find out. So since we should be able to kill it, yeah, we're still just wounded. Let's not take any chances though. Let's go ahead and hit him with heal wound. Just in case. What a mess. Okay. So it looks like we managed to piss off everything on this side. But at least we did it individually instead of getting hit by four of them all at once. Well, sure. I'm not surprised that they're weaker than in tabletop because... Uh, decking alone is incredibly subjective and difficult to duplicate in something like this. This game actually does seem to do a pretty good job of having a separate side for the decker, with the decker getting to take two rounds in the matrix to every one round that exists outside. How indoctrinated are you people that you think siding with these giant gross-ass bugs is a good idea? Oh, what the fuck is this thing? A soldier. We've been dealing with workers, but now we're finally getting soldiers, okay? Crap. Probably use anything that will take some armor off. Thrust. Will pierce two points of armor. It's 
pretty good. But seriously, it's got 150 hit points. All right, let's activate our wired reflexes here. Gunner down. Paco, we need the drone. You're doing wage slaves, doing what the corporation tells them to. Well, we're underneath the Universal Brotherhood at this point in time, so actually they are cult members who have decided to align themselves with bug totem spirits because it seemed like a good idea for some reason. Fucking mind controlled, scary ass bugs. Yeah, it's pretty Scientology when you think about it. Okay, what do we got here? That strips and armor. Do it. Makes it easier for everyone to hit, too. Try for an AP damage. That's less of it getting all up in our faces. Just in case they have some sort of built-in cover mechanic. Sometimes you do, like uh, where you basically count as having media cover because you're fortified. give a little haste to Harlequin so he can try using his sword again and maybe even blur him pommel strike an additional one AP damage yeah let's do it minus four AP that sucker should not be moving next time I do see what looks like a medical crate and a whole room to search through, so that's actually kind of cool. Chop him up. Good job, physical adepts. Yep. Appreciate it, Curla. We... We know. But right now, we're mostly relying on actual combat ability instead of spells. Now, if we wanted her to stand on it and, like, cast aim on the whole team, we absolutely would do it, because it would drastically reduce her cooldowns. But I'm not too worried about reducing her cooldowns at this point in time. We just need to get ready to take the piss out of this big bug when it stands up here in a minute. Because it's going to. Uh, might as well get in there and try and kill this person. Go get him, robot. Destroy him, my robot. Yep, there we go. That's how it works. Let's show these boys how we do things downtown. At least the spirits are a lot more fragile, right? Because that's 150 points. I'm glad that we're not restricted to this one class of weapon while having to dish out 150 points. Alright, so it looks like we've got... Holy smokes. I feel like they're trying to heal us up after the last fight. Uh, we'll leave the phosphorus grenade. We really haven't been using them. That one's been emptied. That one used to contain drone repair tablets. Do we need a gold? I mean, we can't replace any of the ones that are locked. So, I mean, throw it in our stash. What do we find here? 
A locked safe that has both a card reader and a data jack. Well, let's just go ahead and hack the safe's lock. I suppose there might have been a way for us to get a card from somewhere. Loot safe. A platinum trauma kit. Yeah, still nothing I can do about it. And I don't really want another one for myself. Literally everybody can revive once and then River has her um, special dolphin ability to be able to revive as well. Well, this is our last mission, Corilla. At least I think it is. So it's one of those like, yeah, we might as well pick it up kind of a things. But I don't know that we'll get another chance to use it. Since this is actually the mod, uh, it's possible that they may go to... There may be like a continue to run kind of a thing. Also, there's sometimes sequels that allow you to use your existing character. Although I think it doesn't always carry over the gear. The Bug Shaman. A rhythmic thrumming punctuates the air passing through you. Vibrating in your lungs and your chest and making it hard to breathe. It's an electricity that makes the hair on your skin stand up in protest. Ahead, you hear the sounds of chanting accented by the moist wriggling of larva. There are low rumbles, too, stone on stone. The sense of imminence is everywhere. Something is coming, and it has to be stopped. Mm, I think the only one that's not is Paco. Harlequin, I know you get from a story. You can control Paco for a while, but I think the first time he goes critical in DMS, he leaves. And I thought River was one that you could hire. But it's been a long time since I played the base game. Like, a long time. For River Day, I thought she was one of the ones that you could hire. But I could be wrong. Alright, so, it looks like we have two ways to go, but that's a damn dirty lie. Uh-oh. Couple creepy blondes. Jessica appears to be in the throes of a violent trance, or mild seizure. A manic state brought on by the terrible energies that she's attempting to conduct. Quirion, stop! The queen approaches! The vessel! The summoning! We cannot be disturbed! There's no vessel and there will be no queen! Jessica's eyes roll back in her head. Whatever magic she's channeling is fast approaching a crescendo. Lynn speaks in her place. You may have taken Marie Louise, our chosen, but another Telestrian will take her place. I give myself willingly. I will be host to our queen and the mother of a new world. <laughs> but you've seen what these things can do. The queen will devour you, body and soul. And then cap out a few billion young. Blech. No, I will become a perfect being. Through me, through my sacrifice, a new age will begin. When Jessica speaks next, her eyes have a disturbing sharpness. Her words are echoed by Lynn in a manner that suggests a connection beyond their shared zealotry. The hive has no thought beyond hunger. No goal beyond reproduction. We are one. Ah. <sighs> Sam had a hunger too, didn't he, Jessica? What? You said it yourself. Sam had appetites. All that mattered to him was his next fix. Vile appetites. Appetites he couldn't control, and he died for them. Because I willed it. Yes, but why? There was more to it than just your mother. The hum of magical energy permeating the room seems to quiet. She's listening. 
You came under the thrall of these creatures long before you knew of your mother's death. The Brotherhood. They... They were a family to me. Yes. And they had already freed you from your old life, so why come back? Why kill Sam? I had to. For what he did. For what he had become. You said Sam represented a sickness in the world, but I think he represented the sickness in you. You're... You're trying to confuse me. You saw a wrongness in yourself, and you projected it onto Sam. No, I... I, he... He was your brother, Jessica. Your twin. Don't you see? I... I'm sorry. But there's no turning back. I cannot undo what's been done, and I can't stop what's to come. Jessica's body suddenly spasms, arching her back and nearly lifting up her, off her feet. She lets loose with a scream falling somewhere between elation and agony. The queen is near! Well, shit. That's not what I wanted to hear. Oh, god damn, really? Right inside a magical protection area, you fuckers. You bastards. All right. Let's activate our wired reflexes here. You know, if you could take down that bitch, I would be much obliged. 14, 14. It's not terrible. Control mode engaged. I think Paco needs to go find a place of cover. That looks like a good place of cover. Stay there and engage these bastards for your master. Interesting. Oh, it can transition straight through the walls. That's kind of cool. I would not really noticed a drone thing. Insect pillar. I got a feeling we're going to need to do something with those. Can you take them out? Looks like it's got a lot of armor on it. Alright. Of course we've got our grenades, too. If we wanted to throw a grenade at this thing, we probably could. Let's see if we can take out Jessica. Right, River. Get there on that point. Did we give you grenades? You have no grenades. Better idea. Water elemental. Summon it. Typhoon, what do you have? Strip armor? Do it. Yeah, I was afraid that would happen. She's drawing power from that thing! Okay. Shit's getting real. Let's hit it with a phosphorus grenade then. Mm, we still managed to do damage to the. and still managed to get fire on it, so. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Mm, we may be able to summon a spirit out of that if we need to. Let's go ahead and risk the full 4 AP for this. Okay. So it did manage to stick around. Good. Of 
Korean is minorly injured, but probably not worth that. Water bolt. Spirit versus bug spirit. Do it. <laughs> Site blocked. Yeah, just strip some more armor off of it then. Paco's got two. Doorbuster. Melee attack that strips two points of armor. Do it. Nice! That bug pillar is going down. Maybe not right now, but it is going to. Nice! That crit really half destroyed it. It's wounded and on fire and falling down, and it seems to have interrupted Jessica. Well, while it's stunned, and while its armor is low, Oh, okay, it's down... I wonder if we'll get a ghostly version of it. Take that, bitch. See, that's pretty potent on that drone, if I'm being honest. But yeah, generally I wouldn't hire them either. But it's kind of cool that uh, this mod, the Vox Populi mod, basically makes the people that you would hire free so that you can simulate having a crew. And then they inserted a bunch of dialogue and stuff. Unfortunately, I don't really think that English was their first language. So things didn't really work out so well there. Um, well, no youth. Let's go ahead and hit him to give him additional haste. Cool. And a minor heal. Paco is robbed of all his AP. It went back to immune. It must just eventually die on its own? I don't really know what to think. Uh, we can't rob her. She's immune to removing APs as well. That's a little irritating. putting a little on there. By the way, the auto-reloader arm plus anything is like the grenade launcher or stuff like that. It, well, the grenade launcher is almost OP, but... And it's immune too. What the fuck is going on? Did another one wake up? I'm afraid to kind of run around and attract more attention, but when they're in this position, I think they're not vulnerable. Yeah, that's what it is. Now that one's open. Okay. 12% chance on escaping. Yeah, it's worth it. 12% worth it. worth a shot. We can use it to strip some armor off this. Missed. Ah, they, re they were reborn, unfortunately. All right. We can do something about that.
down and down. Three is all the more that we have for it. Let's try a cleave. They're right next to each other. Yes! Paco's going after it with his baseball bat. Oh, Paco, that wasn't really enough. Let me show you how it's done. That's getting to be a problem. We'll take the full chance on it, but then we're gonna try and navigate it as far as we fucking can. Yeah, no, just go ahead and banish it. I don't want to deal with that. I was 25% chance is still too high. Alright, we're gonna be able to take these guys out, I know it. And it's down. Wrong weapon. I like how I accidentally hit him, but he's immune <laughs> to the bug spray. So at least there's that. That one's down. That one's not open. It's got to be this one over here. Doesn't seem to be any of them. Okay, there's clearly a bug that's waiting behind the wall there, huh? <laughs> it looks like another one waiting back there in that passage. Where the shit is Lin gone? Look at all these guys that we can just see hanging out behind the scenes. Things are going to get real bad in a hurry, I guess. I mean, yeah, go ahead and just reload your launcher, I guess. Paco, what you got? Cover's good. Cover's real good. Ouch! King's good. All right, that one's open now. Got it. Who knew these guys would be my sweeper team? Just wish I had something that would allow me to bash their armor. I just don't have anything like that. Not on these guys. We can mark the target, I guess. Covers are good. Then get credit through full cover. Exactly. That's how it works. Let's try this. Extra chance for a critical hit. We'll take it. Uh, you know, I actually think it's time to fall back a little bit. Back here is good. If they stand in the right place, they can kind of cover two of these at the same time. Right, Paco's down to only one. Hmm. What can you do, Paco? You do have line of sight. Go ahead and hit it with overclock.
Line of sight blocked. Yeah, I guess so. But you're not the only one I can shoot at. Well, maybe the only one I can shoot at effectively. Jesus. How bad are you hurt? 13? Have a heal. And I'll even give you blur because I really don't want you to be hit. And gross ass insect pillars. Gorilla's not wrong. All it does take you just gotta stick your artery out there. Uh oh, the whole floor shook. That means the walls holding these other bugs back have decided to uh, come free. Alright, so I think what we'll do we'll just take a little comment. Kazi. Really thought I'd gifted him with some sort of grenade, but no. Alright, gotta get ready to take that thing down next turn. Boost to quickness and strength there. You've got stun grenades, but not really anything else. Hit him with some combat drugs. And then we'll gear up to take a cheap shot when that thing revives. Try this waypoint instead. That'll work. We have an aim bonus here. Oh wow, it actually hit them both. It kind of did an area of effect. Yeah, Lynn's really taking it on the chin here. She's not going to last much longer, which is A-plus by me. Paco, you're going to have to move. Yeah, that'll work for the moment. All right, can she take this thing out on her own? Generally speaking, should. Spirits only need three hits. And then... Why don't you move over here? I know you're not on the point, but that's alright. There we go. Armor damaged. It's on fire shit out of it. End that bitch. <sighs> She's in a pickle. Can you say but that? So it was this one, huh? Go hit it. Uh, 
35 AP. I don't think so. You've ruined everything! Uh-oh. And so she just left? Um... Eliminate the rest of the insect true forms. But what about this bullshit happening in here? The Zerg Queen herself. Crap. Alright. At least they're drastically weakened. I think they've been getting weaker every time that I've been smashing these things. I guess Harley Quinn can go take on some of this shit by himself. Oh no. There we go. It's down. Paco's not really capable of delivering the kind of damage that I want. So he needs to stick with at least one of these guys. I guess you two can. Come on out, Bugsy. Here we go. Now the assholes are showing themselves. That's not always what I wanted. It's sinking all three hits on this. And it's got to be three hits, too. Nice. Yeah, Paco, you could probably pull back a little bit so you don't get glomped on. Nope. Tell you what, reload. You'll need all three hits. Now you can do it. Oh crap, I didn't actually reload, did it? I do love this game, though. Combat's good, story's good. Excuse me? Is she not in her protective bubble anymore? Can we just destroy this bitch now, please? She is not targetable. Okay, fine. You got one shot left. Make it count. You don't have a shot left. No. Uh, 
Looks like we can reactivate our wired reflexes. God, we're fast. 5 AP. Nice. And let me guess, he went back into his body. Sure as shit did. Alright. Let's fall back. Make him come to us. We got one bug, but I... Yeah, we don't have enough points to get there. Don't do it, Paco! No! Yeah! He critted. Good job. We're just gonna ignore that sucker for a minute. Wow. They are mad at that drone. Ancient elf chokes at the last second. Can you do it, River? Yeah. Nice, Paco knocked that thing out. Uh, time to initiate, I think, some repair protocols. Kind of getting the shit kicked out of our drone. Which is fine, we just need... I'd rather the drone go down than one of our people. Kind of? Actually, we can revive people. We can't really revive the drone, can we? You gotta be careful when assaulting a murder bot like that. Let's end your ghost-busting career. You could have been a contender. Alright, seriously though, everybody kind of get the fuck out of these drones' way so they have to come over here to us. a really good time to repair your drone. Not enough AP to get over there and do it, though. Okay. Overclock the drone and let it repair itself. Mm, nope. Not gonna be able to do it. I already used it. It only gets to heal itself once. Not really aware of that. Okay. Well, just get ready to blast whatever comes around the corner then. I think that's what we're gonna do. Come get us, buggies. Oh shit. Nice.
didn't we take out one of them last turn? Shouldn't it have brought up a ghost? Guess not. I don't want to ghost too many things in one turn because then we won't have enough shotgun shells to take them out. So that's a good one not to do. Reload your Aegis. Move over there. And get ready to take a shot on it. You need to go ahead and heal yourself. 20. There's a good cover position. Hang out there. Actually, we moved you over there, but... Oh, shit. How many AP does it take to heal? He's not that far away. If it was a med kit, you could have walked over there. Fine. Take some jazz. Next turn, you'll have an extra AP, and we'll see how this goes. I could, but so far... Well, I don't know. We can try stun grenades as him. I mean, this thing was already stunned and not really going to do much to us, I thought, but... Alright. Still can't heal. Go ahead and Fountain of Youth yourself. healing geyser. We can run into that next turn. One. Two. And then reload. Alright. Now let's go ahead and Take that soldier out. He only had eight hit points left. Get close, and then target him for when he hops back up. Okay. Paco. Well, honestly, it's going to get the 19 back. We're about to end combat. I'm not too worried about this. Do we actually... We just have the one more bad guy, right? Just this one. Double check that that's true. Nope, we still got this guy back here. Alright, Paco. Let's see how good your throwing arm is. 53, with medium armor intervening. Good enough. Hey, Venomy. We are getting our Ghostbusters on here. We were busted at the end of the last one, if you'll remember. We had a meeting, and sure enough, they wanted to hire us to do what we were already doing. So they gave us weaponized versions of the Aegis Serum. We didn't even have to develop it ourselves, and they sent us back to the Universal Brotherhood to Ghost Bust. There you go. Get ready to fire your shotgun launcher here in just a minute. Harlequin, if you would be so kind... I just want you to go and... From behind? Sure, why not? Down it goes. Okay, cool. This will be our last one. It's a 
feel like Harlequin is maybe somebody's own character. You know, you could just move closer. And five karma. Eliminate the rest of the insect true forms. The once beautiful Jessica Watts is a hollow shell of her former self. Her skin is pale and her lips are ashen and her eyes are sunken in her skull. It's more than her body's reaction to the physical damage she sustained or the strain of channeling magic power from another plane of existence. There is something missing from her now. It's, it's gone. My link to the queen, she has abandoned me, expelled me. Unworthy. Unworthy. There's still hope for you, Jessica. She bows her head and closes her eyes, forcing a torrent of tears to cascade down her cheeks. I wish that were true, but there's no hope for me now. There's no hope for anyone. She opens her eyes and there's nothing but hopelessness within. There's a nest like this in every major city. There's no stopping them. Oh, God. And Sam. I'm so sorry, Sam. Decide the fate of Sam Watts' killer. Please, Query, and don't let them... Don't let them eat me. So we can say that we promised justice for Sam, and this feels like justice. Killing his twin sister. We can say, oh, they'll just eat you, but Sam's going to get justice first and then just murder her before the bugs can. Or we can say death would be too quick a punishment. You're going to pay for what you've done and we can take her with us. Well, getting torn apart by bugs does not particularly feel like justice. What? No, please don't. Bang. I mean, yeah, we could have taken her with us, but... Seriously, fuck her. You emerge from the Universal Brotherhood chapter house, momentarily blinded by the bright lights of the Lone Star perimeter surrounding the exit. Despite the clean night air, the stench of ichor and decay clings to you, a smell that may never fully go away. You drop your Aegis-filled shotgun, and it's quickly spirited away by one of Telestrian's minions. Weapons are slowly lowered as you step out onto the street, the order coming from Detective McCluskey himself. You can see James Telestrian nearby, pulling his strings. It's over. Jessica Watts has been dealt with, and Sam has his justice. The dead man's deed is done. All you need now is to make a phone call, and it ends. And after we broke up the ritual, Quirion chased Jessica into a small chamber where she was cornered by a couple of buggers. Guess they weren't compressed with her performance. They were about to eat her. And? And he killed her before they could do it. Some sort of street justice, I suppose. I don't know. I haven't been following the story closely. And the nest has been cleaned out, and the shaman is dead, and your cousin Lynn is being transported to a mental hospital for observation. Very clean. I believe our test of Project Aegis was a success, Quirion. Herr Brackhouse is having it weaponized now for distribution to Knight Errant forces. The authorities are going to take a great, have a great many questions about this incident, and I will need to provide details. The Universal Brotherhood has a great many chapter houses, and they must be dealt with immediately. All right. So what's going to happen next? That's for others to determine. People other than you. Still, you've turned in a yeoman's effort, and regardless of your obvious and myriad flaws, you are deserving of a reward. 
What would you ask of me? So, do we want to sell out, go full corp, be the VP of security for Telestrian? On the one hand, you know, it's working for a corp. On the other hand, if we would get to oversee and work with Knight Errant and all the others in rooting out this tremendous evil, we can fuck McCluskey over, which seems like a tremendous waste of this kind of a favor. Or we could get a payday. We could get paid. Just trying to decide if we want to keep running on our own, leaving this to fuck with others to take care of the fate of the world. Or if we want to oversee it. This is a mod for Hong Kong that replays and slightly expands the original Dead Man Switch, the first of the Shadowrun Returns games. Hmm. I don't think I can trust this to other people. I'll be the true Shadowrunner, get paid real money. I, I feel like the VP option's the way to go here. So we get more money, and we get more chrome, and we get better guns, and then we just get shot at all the time? I do indeed, and I believe you've already undergone the required interview. Very well, Quirion. Report to work as Vice President of Telestrian Industries Corporation Security on Monday. Just wear something more appropriate. Good day. Well, that's... Actually, not what I thought that I was going to... Uh, to pick, but it kind of makes the most sense right now. Plus, let's be honest, since McCluskey lives in our pocket and we're head of security, now we are his puppet master. Maybe. But that was always a possibility. Let's go talk to McCluskey. What you looking at, Tube? <laughs> Your shoes untied? Or we could say, hey, McCluskey, I just spoke to Mr. Telestrian. He said you got your lieutenant's badge. <laughs> I did. I didn't hear about it. Yep, he said to go down to the station house right away. They're throwing a surprise party for you. Oh, Trek, I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> I'll surprise them then. Yeah, you're going to look like an idiot. Idiot. Going on, Jake. Jake just shakes his head, smirking as you approach. And when you finally get close, he breaks out laughing. I heard the Universal Brotherhood was getting shot up on the police sta scanner. Knew it had to be you. Did you get her? Finished her myself. Guess she had it coming. I guess that concludes the story of Quirion and the Dead Man Switch, huh? You know, I've been thinking, maybe you should stay in Seattle a while. There's plenty of ways folks like us can get into trouble here. You only skimmed the surface. I heard Mitsuhama's looking for a team, and they specifically want elves. No idea what that's about. And I got work that something's going on at Crater Lake. The tears got it on total lockdown. No fly zone. The whole thing. Could be something in it for us, if we poke around. <laughs> and then there's always the Orc Underground. Haven't seen that yet, have you? you? Got plenty of friends there who are good for a job. I think this is actually an insert for some of the other community mods that are out there. And something's bound to come up. What do you say? I'll think about it, Jake. Don't worry about it, Jake. It's Chinatown. If you want me, I'll be at McCracken's later. Got a taste for some seafood. Take it easy, chummer. All right. Let's talk to Harlequin here. The painted elf is watching the scene unfolding around the Universal Brotherhood with a grimace. Well, kid, it's been fun. But I've seen everything I care to see today. I'm gonna get out of here. What about, uh, Herr Brockhaus? Thought he'd be here, too. He flew back to Berlin. All sorts of things brewing through there. He was very impressed with you, though. It'd probably turn into work someday. 
But I'd forget about him if I were you. Never make a deal with a dragon, kid. They're playing a different game entirely. Yeah. It's a good chance he was a dragon, too. Fun. All right, Coyote, what's going on? All right, well, guess that's it, huh? You geeked Sam's killer. He got his justice from beyond the grave. A little more involved than I expected. <laughs> Just a little. All right, well, I'm going to grab Paco and head back to the Union. Maybe watch a tried or something. I could uh, use a long shower, too, and then after that... Could learn the business. Take over from Mrs. Kubota someday. <laughs> Maybe. Someday. When the rest of my body's made of metal, too. But not today. Today I run the shadows, get paid, get dirty. See you around, Quirion. You're quite the guy. I can honestly say I've never met an elf like you. That Sam Whitwer and drag. I mean, I can see it. And they did get a lot of their, uh, they did get a lot of their, uh, images and stuff like that while kind of photoshopping stuff. So, yeah, see you around. I don't really want to talk anymore. The Tiddly Bits Junk Shop. Oh, them Tiddly Bits. Hey, Dresden. The little corner is surprised to see you, but he can't hide his delight. Hey, Quirion, I was wondering if I was going to see you again. I guess I shouldn't be surprised to find you here. Ah, hey, Dresden. That was my favorite body snatcher. Busy! <laughs> you know it's all over the Trivid, right? They found the Emerald City Ripper dead in some asylum out in Snohomish, of all places. And it turns out he'd been masquerading as the head administrator of something. They found him dead from some sort of vigilante attack. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Well, Mr. Dresden, I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> That's what I thought. Well, no one can say that he didn't have it coming, am I right? That was a double negative. So, the big question, what about the dead man switch? Now that the Ripper's dead, are you going to collect? Yeah, damn right I'm going to collect. Excellent. I'm sure you deserve it. How do you collect? I was told I need a secure line to call the number Sam gave me. Can't use my comm link. Lone Star's emergency response team set up the secure phone line right here to coordinate efforts, and I can authorize you to use it. Thanks, Dresden. Don't mention it. Take care, Quarian. That little dude's gonna just have to run away because, uh... We're still concerned about him selling that parts list off, but I guess it's the least of small evils. Well, let's call the law firm. Oh. You want to see the in-game not Whitwer? Whitwer? Alright, it's Harley Quinn here. Do 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 Alright. Alright, so let's make the call. You tap in the phone number Sam's lawyer gave you days ago. The phone rings seven times before someone finally answers. The image of the lawyer on the other end of the vid phone is noticeably different than the one you saw a few days ago. The noise in the background sounds like it's coming from a bar. Yeah? He squints into the phone. Recognition slowly appears on his face. Oh, hey, it's you, uh, Quirion, right? So you got Sam's killer, huh? That's right. I want to get paid. Huh, <laughs> sure. Of course you do. Hold on. Let me slot Sam's video for you. He fumbles for a moment, 
Then the camera jerks crazily, goes to static, and is replaced by Sam. Good old Sam. Sam still looks like Drek, same clothes, same background, probably shot it at the same time as his first video. Hey, buddy, looking good, looking good. <laughs> if you're calling this number, that means the job's done, right? Congratulations, amigo, I knew you'd do it. You were always the dependable one, more than me anyway. I, I just want to say thank you for whatever you did. It means a lot, not even knowing what you did. It still means a lot, because I know you did something. You know I know what I mean? I know you made it right, somehow. You're the, on You're the only one who ever gave up, who tried to help me, ever, except my sister. She tried more than once. She tried, never let her through, never let her in, and I regret that a lot. I ever tell you about her, buddy? We're twins. We're twins, I guess. You still a twin after one of you dies? I don't know. Doesn't matter, I guess. God, listen, do me a favor, will you? If you talk to her, her name's Jessica. Tell her I'm sorry, okay? For everything. She'll know it for. She's Catholic, so she'll forgive me. I... I need her to forgive me. Just tell her that I love her. Anyway, you need to get paid, which would be great except for one thing. I got nothing. Never never did. You know how it is, right? Sorry, but hey, thanks again for giving a crap. Seriously, I appreciate it. I'll tell you what, if you feel a bit sore about it, look into my family's background a bit. There's got to be people with money in there somewhere. Maybe one of them can throw you a few bucks. Take care, amigo. <laughs> See you in hell. He reaches forward and shuts off the camera, and the vid screen goes to static as the call ends. There's a moment of silence, and then you feel a tug on your jacket. It's Dresden. So what did he say? He told me to never trust a dead man. <laughs> the Emerald City Ripper killings are sensationalized for several weeks. Lewid reports focus on the killer masquerading as the administrator of Mercy Mental Hospital. Soon after, pop singer Maria Mercurial is cast as the lead in Dr. Ripper, a trivid thriller about a reporter who goes undercover as a mental patient to uncover a serial killer. Seattle Newsnet reports a shootout at a chapter house of the Universal Brotherhood. Witnesses claim that a gang of religious fanatics stormed the building for unknown reasons but committed suicide before they could be captured. All mention of insect spirits, James Celestrian III, or shadow runners are kept out of the news. One year later, the city of Chicago declares a quarantine area between Lake Michigan and the Des Plaines River. Officially, the Chicago containment zone is established to fight an outbreak of an infectious virus. But an infestation of insect spirits is suspected by those who know. A mature form of Project Aegis called Fabs 3 is eventually deployed to remove the bug threat from Chicago. The Watts family name has since been lost to the shadows. <laughs> so that's fun. This was additionally rewritten by several, several people. And it's kind of fun that they were able to basically take assets from the first game and use them in the third game. And rebuild the entire plot. Granted, there's some bugs and stuff like that. But rebuild the entire plot, the entire story, in a later game. That's a hell of a mod. That's a hell of a mod. <laughs> 